on single pictures or on video. My video from the camera? I would just say pictures. Just pictures. Oh, wait. Welcome to Building Blocks. My name is Anna He. And I'm Folding Centering. And today we're going to be teaching you how to use automated folders, automated scenes to make your solo video producing a little bit easier for you. But also if you're producing for your clients, that is even better, especially if you're producing by yourself. So we are going to go over that with the new updated beta. What beta, are we, beta six? six. We're beta beta six, six now. Beta six right now. And uh, a couple of great fixes that fixes that were um, fixed and then fixed. Yeah. <laughs> right? So we're going to be designing. But before we get started, hello, Kimberly. Hello, Paul. Hello, hello, hello. Eden. Hello. Oh, hey. Right. What's up, Eden? <laughs> what the kids this day call flames. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fire! Uh, Brainy Cajun, hello! What's going on, good sir? Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. <laughs> is it called no folders? Wait, why is Eden pouting in, in her avatar? You like, you Wait, see is she that, pouting? Now that we can like expand the avatars. <laughs> Wait, let me see. <laughs> it's, like, not... it's, it's like it's like court court in 4K. <laughs> no, <laughs> she's not pouting. That is her her. Her tub look. I love Eden, it. Eden, explain yourself to Fulgens. Um, but you know, nowadays, right? Speaking of nowadays, Eden, um, when I'm photographing seniors, the the girls come and they don't smile. They just want to have a straight face, looking very uh, kind of model style. Mm -hmm. But while they're doing that, sometimes they look a little bit. Like the moms don't like it. The mom is like, let me see your smile. Let me see your smile. So that I think that's it for <laughs> it's a it's a mugshot concept. I was trying to convince the bosses. So. <laughs> oh my gosh. A oh, a a it goes for some um engagement there, Eden. Just leave it. Leave it. <laughs> it generates some engagement for you. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so um, if if you haven't updated the beta, go ahead and update it. You can still be here, um, because we're gonna be doing some scenes where we can be expanding the the scrolling ticker. We're gonna show that because before we couldn't do it as you saw last week. We're gonna do it today, and then we're also going to be playing with some uh grunge, 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 grunge textures that we downloaded from Envato Elements and see how we can make it fun using the blend modes. Absolutely. Hello, Dan. What's okay. going on, Dan? Okay. Yeah, whole lot of green screen going on back here. <laughs> yes, tell them, tell them, Eden, that it's a hit. <laughs> and Rainy K just said, if I was your boss, I would give you a race. Don't upset an Asian. <laughs> oh, <shoot. laughs> Here we go. Okay. G for J. Okay. Hello. Hello. Very good to see you. I, I love this feature of the okay. avatar. Uh, it's good for us 
us who wear glasses, yes. you know. It's really great. And that's something that is an update on six. Yes. Right? It's an update on beta six. And now the the comments are no longer little tiny things. You can actually see faces. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> like you just noticed Eden. Exactly. Otherwise, you wouldn't not have. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. A, yeah. So be careful what the profile picture you have now. <laughs> We're about to call you out on it. So, okay, let's go ahead with the changes. It adds a slider control to adjust a comment overlays maximum avatar size. Yes. So here we go. Yeah. And then the other ones are just uh, the fixes, but just go coming back here. And we pull up, let's pull up Eden's comment. <laughs> <laughs> Eden, you're it. <laughs> and check this out. Did you notice this? So right here, there's a little slider right above. <laughs> 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 and right, so we can just a cute little slider way. that you will miss if you don't uh look. This is putting it this is bring it back. <laughs> so it was set to like 50%, uh -huh. like right here. <laughs> so, <laughs> that is cool. That is so cool. And that even makes it even better when we're doing the like the common style Paul Dixon style. Yes. Right? So this absolutely. makes it even nicer. Yes. And like flexible to do. Yes. Yeah, so that is a great, that is a great um, yeah. and, update. And then other, other than that, it's a lot of fixes as we saw before up here. The super chat stuff is fixed and we had some issues where the overlays were changing sizes and shapes and jumping around when switching between 1080 and 4k and that's fixed yes and we can we, yeah we have that and then fixes an issue where overlay background and border colors could shift yeah. and that's important that's <laughs> something that that paul dixon brought to their attention yeah but let's go over the the scrolling ticker. Yes. Let's go over so, that because that's the, the background scroll, things. The scrolling ticker is uh seems like it's back back on track. So if we come here, saw regular motion background. And <laughs> I believe that you don't have to do any type of workaround. You can just do it the normal way. So if we go boom, let's just add this one triangle first. Right, and before we'll just do this, right? We'll just stretch it across the screen. Let's command tilde. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. Bring it here. And then we'll go back in here and then we'll switch it to scrolling ticker. It may do a little shrink or a reposition, but look at that, it's fixed. Mm -hmm. Now it's fixed. It's fixed. Nice. And you could add, keep adding onto it, add more triangles, change the colors. It's good. Well. Let's let's try that, right? Because mm -hmm. what was happening before, when we try to change the color, it will change size. And it's nice. not changing size. Nice. Thank you, Ken and Glenn, for fixing Perfect. this feature. Look at this. Nice. This great. So now we can go back to the, the nice the nice effects in the background. Yes. Nice Martin effects. McKenna, you may proceed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a super chat. Oh, Marcus. Hi. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. And let's test that out. Okay. <laughs> let's test that out. So now if we bring the comments panel over, check that out. Look super at that. chat. Remember it was, it was showing everything? Yeah. It's just showing the super chat now. Yeah. Here we go. Thank you that for the test. That is awesome. Hold on. Yes. Let's, let's, uh, let's, just, let's just do this for screenshot purposes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, oh, no, no. Bring... There it is. Yeah, that's right. I'm looking at here, but I should be looking down there. Nice. You can even bring the super chat in its own um, comment window. Like, you can have a separate comment window where just the super chats will go to. Right. That would be nice. That would be cool. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. A lo PD style. All right. So, we got some good fixes in beta 6. And if you have not downloaded ecam.com slash beta, that's ecam.com slash beta. And get your beta six today. Mm hmm. Okay, so here we go. Let's go to. So we had a question from any Cajun. Um, should that avatar be centered on the common box? Should it be centered? Um, for for this shift command D. So this is for tr uh, text box shrink. It's kind of at the upper left corner let's see if we happens if we switch it to truncate hmm? 
Let's see if truncate will do that. Truncate is still the same. And then when you switch it to dynamic, dynamic will center it. But the other two new features, no. And speaking of that, scrolling ticker for comments is now in the style box. Boom. So, <laughs> so there's a little Easter egg for you. For you. <laughs> I mean, like, if he loves, Wait, he loves the scrolling ticker. I'm like, comments, if I'm, I already have a hard time reading comments in English. And now they're going to be scrolling. <laughs> you know, it's going to be gonna be like, wait. So I think we had it before set to shrink like this. So anything that's going to be longer than these characters will just shrink inside this box. And this is, yep, that's like that. So Rainy Cajun, if you would like to have that centered, <laughs> because your your eyes feature, will not let you. request. <laughs> do it up. Feature request. And the request. beta. Chris, and hello. Then, there's nothing, nothing. It's all happiness now. We're all, <laughs> we're good. We're good to go. They fixed all the sadness. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, it's all good. Yes, yeah, it's all good. It's, it's all, all good. good in the hood. Yeah. Very well, something you, is making you. No, actually, it's not making you sad. It's making you. Ch it's challenging you. What is that? We would tell it at the end of the show. Yeah. I can't think of it. I don't know. Okay. I, don't I, know. I, I would remind you guys at the end of the show. Yeah. I would. I would, uh, I would Lu share. Luis Santos, good to see you here. Hola, Luis Santos. I love this avatar size. <gasps> Hi. Very good to see you here. Nice to see you. Chris Stone is team scrolling ticker comment. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. Hello, Tori. Good to see Tori's you, Tori. Ray. Paul. Paul Dixon, Dixon. is here. Uh, it, might take, it might look a bit odd centered when you made the comment box taller. Hey, that's, that's Paul Dixon chiming in. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Very good question. Can we do the multiple comments? Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I bet you can. I mean, just bring it up. Bring let's, all let's the other it. ones. The Eden is pouting. Because, <laughs> because if <laughs> Eden, you made his night. Because if it. you can bring multiple, multiple, uh, you can manipulate multiple overlays and you can change the colors of them. So you could apply a transition to a single one let's, individually. Let's try it. Uh, just one thing it's I noticed with this good. with the scrolling ticker, yeah, it, it does it does this, and so there might be some more fixing to do, right? So stuff just yeah, jumps, I out, that jumps too. out of place. Mm -hmm. So let's say we want to keep it at this size, and then add scrolling ticker. It shrinks even smaller. Oh shoot! So um, <laughs> wait, let me see. What size is that though? Like, if you go. 46. Oh, it's 46. Yeah. What in the world? Yeah. So I think some other, some minor adjustments need to be made to that feature. But this is only when you switch to scrolling ticker, it does that. Or the new scrolling ticker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Paul, it wasn't me. <laughs> I did not break it. It came like that. But then you switch to truncate and it's still like that. It's still doing that. It yeah. would be nice to have a uh, reset. Right. That reminds me of when the shapes, whenever we went to Squircle, it stayed as a square after mm -hmm. switching it to square. It kind of reminds me of that. Yeah. And there's no way to reset it. So So and let's test the multiple things. So maybe um, let's see, because we're going to have multiple tiny cross scrolling ticker, which will make no sense. To yeah. Have. Yeah. But look at how it, tiny it is. Yeah. Again, Paul, this is not me. <laughs> Paul Duncan. <laughs> It wasn't me. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Let's try to get it back on the screen here. What if okay. you bring um, uh, 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 oh my gosh, why can't I think right now? Uh, uh, an overlay. Uh, oh my God. Just a regular, just, <laughs> I'm just going to do this right now. Um, oh, we can't do it because we are live. What are you trying to do? And a uh, new uh, comment overlay to yeah. test uh, what? So just option command K. Okay. And then do the. Mm, try it. 
But you know what? When we selected Option Command K and it pulled up the size, it was because we already had adjust Eden yeah. to that size. Yeah. So. Okay. And the thing is now from here, so if you pull up that comment again, if we pull up this comment again, and then we go to what would you like to do? Like go back to scrolling trigger. Mm -hmm. It shrinks. Oh, man. It shrinks. Okay. So it, okay. And uh, Command Z. And then Command Z is normally when you can you undo know, it. You know what Ken and Glenn are saying with this? Mm -hmm. Comments should not be scrolling <laughs> ticker. That's what they're saying. They're like, what Comment are you trying to do? Tickers. Comments should not be scrolling tickers. I mean, tickers. it was working before, just saying. It still works. <laughs> it's just when you switch it, right? Right. I mean, it doesn't really. <laughs> okay. But that's that. So. so, Eden, I guess we can, but at the same time, you cannot. Yeah, it was working a while ago and then something happened, but. Okay, are we caught up? Michelle! Michelle, good to see you. We need, sh it wasn't me playing. <laughs> Johnny, what's up? Johnny! Like and as Paul Dixon says, we do need a reset on overlays, on all overlays. Yeah. That, that should be like one of the For final sure. final additions to right, Paul, the 4.1. Paul, Paul Dixon, send it, because I sent a request earlier before we got in, and I don't want to, like, that was that. <laughs> That's a request uh, limit. That's my request limit. The request limit. Uh, okay, so we're going to now... I know a lot of you have been using Egan for a long time. You probably are familiar with um, automatic, automatic uh, folders, but we're going to go over different ways to use it. We use it on ENN, and we just have those, for example, we can use it in many different ways, but the way we use it is um, the shows that are coming up, we add it to the folders, and we are just having a conversation or delivering the news while the... the um, shows are coming up mm -hmm. so we're going to show you how to do that and again you can do it with different things you can have different messages different mm -hmm. call to actions that are automated and you can assign the um intervals where they show up absolutely so let's do this absolutely and i i still believe that automated scenes are a very underrated feature in ecamm and as you said earlier it's think of it as your assistant producer yes for yeah. sure yeah that's that's what it is i mean you have to it for especially for those solopreneurs, you know, like solo solopreneurs, solo video producers. Your requests have been put on a thirty day silence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm not sending uh, anything. Folks is sending. I'm like, I'm just gonna choose my 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 request. That's funny. So for those of you new to automated folders, is this icon right here, new automatic group. So I'm gonna add that here. Right down here. All right. So we're doing some coming up next, mm -hmm. right? And let's start off with. So let's name it. Yeah. But also, too, hold on a second here. Since we are on this virtual background, maybe we could just take this one up here. And just going to duplicate this one. By the way, Michelle, if you're still on, we that that tip you gave us on that show that we did with you is been used so useful. As you can see here, Fulgence has a dot, the green dots, to signify that it is a green screen. We I use it for other things, like for when I am uh, organizing uh, my ChatGPT chats. I use it for all the businesses. So if a customer has a color, I put the customer circle color on it so that I can easily go and access it. It's really, it's a really cool tip, everyone. So, um, yeah. So that's color I'm, coding, color, color coding, color coding. <laughs> your I, lo I love, I love that feature. Yeah. I love the feature. Love the feature. How's this size here? Do you create, okay, let's mark, let me mark this. Um, Kimberly, we, would, we will <laughs> mm -hmm. get to you. Mm hmm Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. How would how is this size? Should we make it a little bigger, a little bit smaller? I would say smaller. Way? Smaller? Mm -hmm. All right. Like this? Yes. All right. So this is gonna be our our base model. And then we're gonna add our rectangle in Neef, right? Mm -hmm. We're just doing the rectangle. The, yep. Whoa. <laughs> Hello, rectangle. Right. Dang. Hold on. All right. Oh, okay. All right. 
let's remove these corner radius. Boom. Lay this over Marshall real quick. Okay. Do you wanna label it? Okay. Yeah. The word. <laughs> the word. <laughs> Keyboard just escapes sometimes. And then what we want to do is like we want to match the colors, the background colors with the thumbnail. So let's see. Let's take some of the orange and take some of the blue. I have a story about this design. Or actually, tell a story. No, afterwards. This will be better. How's this one? That, I think that looks good. Mm. All right, cool. So we got that. And then we're going to add a little divider. This is why text overlays, designing with text overlays will never phase out because we right, always need exactly. them. Right, exactly. Yeah. We always need them for something. That's why having the basics, you guys are so ahead of the game. Ultra light. Mm hmm ultra light and then we have this little divider here the ultra light divider <laughs> just add that like right there hold down command to position it where you want to position it so we have that there like so and then new episode any font recommendations and Style. You know, that one is nice. This one? Mm -hmm. Light like this, or should it be a little bit... Uh... That one's good. Let's see how that looks on here. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice. That's... And then this is going to be Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern. And the cool thing about it is, like, after you have it designed, you can just change the text change the messaging because it's already done mm -hmm. um this hold on let's see what it would look like if we spell out thursday actually no yes or no? I, I mean try it out it, we, i don't i don't remember how the other one was that's what i'm <laughs> trying to look like i'm scratch. trying to look. I was, <laughs> I'm like i that's what i was asking you to um but let me see i'll look at the other one we're we're gonna check out our enn design isn't that funny? Like, we designed something and we just forget. I know, right? Yeah, I think just Thursday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then we'll just go into expand this a little bit. Boom. Boom. All right. I'm waiting for Anna to check out the replay to see <laughs> what we had before. Oh, okay. Oh, it was the it was the entire it was the, the entire, entire thing. Mm -hmm. thing. Okay, cool. So let's try that. Oh, that looks beautiful, <laughs> Yasmin. Just uh, <laughs> a story is coming up. Uh, Thursday, two p.m. Eastern. Boom. Shrink that down. Let's lock the lower third and the little divider so it doesn't jump around. Jump around. <laughs> And and then we had so good. we have the opposite, but that's fine. I mean, we can do either way. So the top was right. The top mm -hmm. was bold. bold. Actually, mm -hmm. I kind of liked with the top bold, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's do that. And then this one will but will be lighter. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. And of course, you had a whole bunch of shadow stuff. <laughs> yes, I don't know. Of course, I had a whole bunch of shadow stuff. Yes, for sure, for sure. Um, act and actually, the 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 one from Monday, the font type was. Oops. Episode di. Episode di. What do you? No, so that's yeah, yeah that's basically fine. how it was. Yeah. All right, cool. And then the, I think the shadow, yeah, the shadow was everywhere. I added the shadow on mm -hmm. the thumbnail itself. Did the divider have a shadow? Let's see what that will look I'm like. I'm pretty sure it did. 
Because <laughs> you're enamored with the shadow. Your shadow yeah, doesn't enamored. Really, doesn't really, uh, gives a little lift. Yeah, just a little lift. I think, yeah, I think I want shadow on everything. All right, cool. So this is our template. This is the template. This is the template that we're going to use. Right? So that's good. And then what we can do. Oh, before, before we go, before we go all in, let's create this folder here. This will be the lower third. And then we're just going to throw all of our stuff in there. And lock Marshall in place and everything has to fly in. Fly in from the left. Yeah. And you know, that's and that's the good thing. Uh, apply everything. Do all the transitions. Apply everything from your, because from the, from the template because you're gonna be copying that one, and then you want all the transitions and everything to be there. So the only thing you have to do with the amazing new feature is replace asset. Mm -hmm. And it just stay tuned. <laughs> Boom. All right. So now when. Let's lock everything in place. So now when we hide the lower third, let's do this. Boom. All right. Are we but ready? But wait, there's more. Yeah, let's so go. So now we're ready to duplicate this, right? Yep. Boom, boom, boom. So now we're gonna take Marshall Creates and then we're gonna duplicate. Duplicate the Create. And up next, after Marshall Creates, we have Ecamm Live Demo, which is going to be lit this Friday. Mm -hmm. I have an all-star lineup for this Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So this is Ecamm Live Demo Scene. Miss Hill, would you like to do the honors of replacing Asset? I don't know where you <laughs> how you put all your stuff in it's, here. It's there, but so. it's, it's where. No, go ahead, go ahead. This once you once you re, once you go to the Marshall's thumbnail, it should pop up. Okay, so we go here. So you click on the pencil here. Then you go to replace asset. You click it up here, and then we're gonna go to Ecamm Live. Just as simple as that. Oh, direct it to the horn. It's just as simple as oh, that. Oh, as simple as that. And then again, you go on and you um option drag before to, we, before that mm -hmm. before that. Uh, just just one more step here, right? So, well, two more steps here. So we're gonna change Thursday at two. Oh, that's true. Yeah. To Friday. I got too excited. <laughs> I got too excited. Friday, two p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and let's center this. And then, uh, let's take the lower third, the the motion gradient, and let's match the colors of the thumbnail. Let's do a little bit of and that's getting extra fancy here. here. Yeah. It's getting extra fancy because you can select one that's kind of gonna be like neutral. You can, if you want to, mm -hmm. or if you. I but Fulgens likes to do a, the most. Just took took a few steps to do that. It has to do the customize. Most. The show has its own custom look and feel. <laughs> Next. Okay, we're dragging. Come here. Oh, I'm taking it out of the, the yeah. folder. Okay, wait, let me <laughs> put it back in. And then that's copied. And then the next one is what? Uh, strict sh stream show. All right, so it's a stream show. We're going to put it back in the folder. And then I'm going to click here, come back, then click the pencil, replace asset. And then we're going to go to the stream show. Tatiana's lit this week. Look at <laughs> Tatiana. Tatiana. Yes. On a roll. All right. So go ahead and do. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going to unlock. Teach here. the teacher. I came across this a few days ago where if you click on the pencil and hit enter, instead of doing two clicks, one click and enter. <laughs> That's nice. Right? That is nice. Good to know. Yes. A little hidden, uh, hidden gem. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Oh, it stayed centered. Actually, no. And this uh, this background actually works for stream show. But again, if you want to do the most, 
and with the light blue and then let's see if we can get the orange actually let's do the dark blue instead let's do the dark blue boom let's pull the dark blue there you go There we okay, go. Okay, you continue. Continue. And then we just have a little bonus. We just say um, live uh, new this month, which will be Ken and Glenn. And then the Ken and Glenn one, we could make it totally different. It doesn't have to look like this because right, it's right. like the ass the, he can. Yeah. It's like the big. It's the. the it's the big pay per view event of the, <laughs> of the month. So it could look totally different. I mean, I, I copied it, but we don't need to use this one. So we could create something totally different. Uh -huh. uh, let's actually. We just hide this for now. And let's pull up. Let's pull up. You can also right click on the text to edit it, says Paul Dixon. Nice. Good to know these little things. Ask God. <laughs> <laughs> right? Maybe they oh get like a, maybe we, we rotate them a little bit. Glenn likes to rotate things, but I I, <laughs> I feel we should we should leave it. We just should make it bigger. Bigger. Okay. Yeah. How big? Like that big is good. Oh my gosh! What if we put the grudge behind it? Let's try adding yeah. the grunt. Which one? The 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 crest or the slanted one? The the one that behaved. The one that behaved. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have this grunge design. Let's pull that little up. grunge, little. PNG grunge layout that was supposed to be transparent and it wasn't and so we had to do some work do some workarounds. Well, let's move Ken and Glenn out the way for now. How big should this be now? Let's put the the thumbnail over and see what happens. Ooh, bigger. Like mm -hmm. it gives it, like the just right, just like yeah. it's around the edges. Got like, you. Like, ooh. And you know what was cool? We were messing around with the grunge, right? And we with the blends. It doesn't have to stay this color. It doesn't. It, either we do the shadow, the drop shadow around it, or we mess around with blends. We can mess around with blends and do Let's shadows see. too. Let's see. And we can also crop this so that the overlay is not annoying like that. Yeah, it's just Unless it that, doesn't bother you. No, no, no. It's just that what, I, what had happened was mm -hmm. these things sometimes, the, the, the yeah, transparent, they yeah. they're kind of hard to grab the uh, these edges. It disappears. Okay, forget yeah. it. Let's let's do the blend modes. Okay. But I think we should do it with a... With a um, Thumbnail yeah. on. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's blend. And I do believe Kino has... Um, shapes like this. Canva has shapes like this. This one we downloaded it from Envato. From Envato. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's let's have fun. Paul Dixon, do you have a trick for you know how in Photoshop you can just go to the blend modes and you just go and scroll down with arrow key? Is there a trick Wait. to? Well, it just we just have to hit enter. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a way to scroll down and get a preview of the blend modes without having to enter Ooh. enter? Well. It's the same, right? <laughs> I'm like, ooh. Huh? <laughs> it was the same. It was the same. This I looks think cool. it was the pin. The the pin light was when it started to. Uh... Oh. You see, I like what it's doing to, you on your side, right? It goes on the, my shirt. The red and orange, adding some building blocks colors back there. When, when it went dodge. to pin. Overlay. We're getting there. Soft light. Hard light. Hard See, light, hard, light hard light is, is nice. Hard light is nice. I like a little. Hard light is nice. Yeah. Uh, Paul says doesn't think so. Oh. Pin pin light and pin and hard nice. light. And it has some ecam colors a lot. Right. Some of them. But yeah. I like hard light. Hard light has a little bit of a. It's a little lighter. Mhm. Mm and then you can now with a shadow. You can add a shadow to the grudge and and have it uh pick a color from the. Something oh else. look, that's interesting. So when adding a blend, mm -hmm. the shadow does not take. What do you mean? It's not taking. I don't see the shadow. It. I think it is. It's just because it's hard. Change the change the color. Yeah. Nothing. 
What? No shadow. No shadow with blend mode. Wait, that can't be. Can't really? What in yeah. the world? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? No shadow. But we did it. We did it. Uh, we went back to normal. Oh. Mm hmm. But it looks good. But it looks good. And if you really so wanted to... So let's just do um, uh, something on the thumbnail itself, like to separate it from the... And if you really wanted to shadow, you could layer another one behind it and then do some shadow stuff. Well, we're going to keep it simple here. Right. Because when the automated scenes start coming, it's going to, you know? So what if we shadow the thumbnail? Kind of pops out. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. Yeah. That's... I wonder what would happen if we blend mode that thumbnail. Madness. Ooh. Oh, madness. But then we can see them. We can see them. Right. And we'd have to either shrink the thumbnail or uh, expand the, whatchamacallit, the grunge thingy. That's pretty cool, though, because like <laughs> if it was if if we gave more real estate to to the design, mm -hmm. that would look pretty cool. OK. Which one was that? Um, we will find out. I believe it was. We were in pin light. Pin looks good too. Overlay. Overlay. But then we can't see them. So let's just let's just. This is fun. You see, this is fun. Blend modes are fun. Blend mode is fun. Are fun. So let's let's change it. So back to normal. Back to normal or back to yeah. We can do back to normal. It, it looks so now, right? Like, I'm just like, ooh, it you was cool. You know what? Cool. Just for the sake of, of this tutorial, we'll leave it with overlay because it looks cool. And if Ken and Glenn came across it, they'll be like, oh, this is this this looks pretty cool. <laughs> 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 what do you guys think about this one? Should we leave it like that or should we change it back to normal? Because, you know. <laughs> just shrink it a little bit in there. Yeah, that looks good. I like it. Okay. All right, so let's continue because we need to show you how cool the automated scenes are. Yeah, so before okay. we do that, let's just uh, transition. So this is gonna be, you know what? Because it's different. So right. they're gonna be spinning in from- <laughs> From the left. <laughs> spinning in from the left. Everything and is- yeah, spin in from the left. Oh, you also oh, you got completely like they have a whole okay, different, a whole different, okay, a whole got different it. look. Okay. And feel. So like they're gonna be spinning. Is the overlay is gonna be spinning also from another direction? Oh or? no no, uh, and all as a group. Got it. As a group, yes. All right, so let's try this. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That All right. That's dope. <laughs> Just get out of live demo mode. Yeah. That's pretty dope. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready then. Okay, so let's continue. That's it, right? Right. That's the last so we one? have that was the last one. So okay. now we can automate. So let's do. Um, this is the, let's get the back one. Into demo. So. Oh yeah, Ken and Glenn. Mm -hmm. Boom. Okay, nice. Now we have this little uh, gear icon. This is where you will choose what uh, the interval in between, right? So I think we did 15 seconds. 15 seconds, yes. 15 seconds because we are just having a conversation and then they keep coming. So mm -hmm. we just let it. You can choose uh, the transition. We, um, we're gonna leave it cross, cross dissolve. dissolve. Yeah. I mm -hmm. wonder what would happen if we just do no transition. Um. Let me see. Yeah, that would just be no like transition. a hard cut to the next scene. Let's see. What be happens? Nothing crazy. And then it you can fine. um, you can select uh, advance to next scene or random scene, but because we want the shows to go on on a specific order, we're gonna leave it as next, next scene. scene. And then the time interval is going to be fixed interval because we want it to be specific time. And then no transition just to see what it look, what what happens mm -hmm. because we're experimenting here. So um Ah <laughs> what happened? 
What are you trying to press? Okay. What happened? What are you trying to press? I don't know what you're trying to do. I'm just trying to get out. Gonna, That's it. I th- it's still there. It just went hiding. Huh? It so I don't know. Hit. I don't know. What, I don't know what magic magical buttons you press. You know. <laughs> oh my god! I just wanted. I just wanted to click it off. Okay. So here we go. That's it, right? Yep. And so, then we're just gonna click play. And let's um go. Let me get out of the left arm. Hold on. See. We're Some, so excited right now. You sometimes know. Sometimes it just it just works to just hit the stream. Shout out to Stream Deck. <laughs> And we just go. Now, for the moment, you have all been waiting for automated oh. scenes. Here we go. Hitting play. Okay, so we hit play, and we're just going to be having a conversation with you. Let's check out the comments and see what's going on. Yeah. And, we- and while we do this, stay tuned. Aubrey tuned in. Hello, Aubrey. Good to see you. Hello, Aubrey. So you all saw that, right? So we're over here doing something else. We're doing our thing, and that's happening. And 15 seconds is a really good time it because is. that gives you a chance to to check out the thumbnail and yeah. l- learn what time and day and all that good yeah. stuff. So. And you know, sometimes we might just be... Um, engage in the comments or engage with with you know with the host yeah. and we miss it so the 15 seconds does give that a little bit of time absolutely and look at this and you have a george canellas hello what's up george george won won some stuff last week i believe yeah sunday sunday you yes. won something son um Yes, I lo- okay. I love that. That looks dope. That looks nice. It's, Let, and the, it's, it's just on brand with all this back here, too. It just looks really good. It looks just comes together yeah. really well. I just like, I would like to see their faces a little bit more, mm-hmm. right? Because they are, like you say, the attraction, yeah. the main yeah. attraction. But um, that's that's cool. David you Hunt, see? good to see you here. <laughs> okay. Talks with David. Hello. Good to see you, David. Yes. Uh, can y'all add a notification for Facebook stars? My followers think I don't appreciate them because I never shout them out. Oh. Huh. Like super chats. Yeah, but before Facebook, the Facebook stars. Mm. Uh, are you a part of the Ecam Live Beta Facebook group? You could submit that as a feature request. Unless I think Paul. Yes, I think Paul sent the message already. Yeah, Paul did. Awesome. Perfect. So there you have it. Automated scenes, and you can do other things, not just that. You can have call to action. You can have, uh, you can bring in your own. It doesn't have to be created inside of Ecamm. You can bring in your own overlays or your own uh, movies and add it to the automated folders, right? You just have to make sure that the timing of your overlays or, or whatever the movie that you have is it goes with the interval so it can play to its entirety so it's very flexible yeah yeah so hold on we have uh some comments and a question uh david is asking basic drop last night when did it drop was it the day before yesterday wasn't it yeah paul dixon i mean <laughs> paul duncan please uh these days are just Intertwining. Yeah. I do believe it was yesterday. Either Monday or, or, or yesterday. I can look in Slack and see what's going on. Right. But uh, yeah, it did, it did, and it did. Yes. Um, we have a question also for Kimberly, I believe. Oh, okay. Kimberly had a question. Let's uh, just cut back to And our then, comments. for example, yes, that's what I was going to say. Once you already ran through all of it, you can go back yeah. to your regular scene and then. And, it's, and it cycles pretty well for 15 seconds it intervals. Does. It does. And say, for example, um, if you want to talk about a specific topic and you don't want it to continue to automate, you can click on the scene that you want to stop at and then you can speak about it, you know, deliver your message mm-hmm. on that specific scene. And then if you want it to go automated again, you click on the play button and it will start getting automated again. Yes. So that's the way you can pause. <clears throat> yes. Uh, and then just keep in mind that comments, comments only show in current scene, not in all scenes. So if you drop a comment in an automated scene and and you switch to the next scene, you're going to lose that comment. Rainy Cajun had a nice idea. Mm-hmm. Pull it up. Rainy Cajun, that's a great idea. 
copying the overlay of the twins with the normal version and take down the opacity to let's let's try to yeah. see if that works we can on, bring it on, up this, a little bit. on this blend background <laughs> let's try that boom 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 there will be two thumb thumbnails coming in but i mean that can make it a little bit oh no no no, no. instead of oh in i see in instead of right so let's hide we'll just hide this one and then let's bring a new one because we. Oh, uh, I thought that it was putting overlaying it on top. Uh, so you know our usual trick of lowering the opacity on something. Let's see if that works. Uh. Right. I still like the blend better because the it blend. <laughs> <laughs> it was a complete blend. Let, let's see. Ooh. A lot of command zing right there. You know. Right there. Okay. So we bring in another one. Just just bring in another thumbnail. Um, okay. The same. Yeah. The thumbnail. Yeah. Okay. And then we overlay it. Let's see top of it and then we lower the opacity same, it almost looks the same, same. same yeah thing. it almost looks the same yeah unless I, you put it on yeah and i thought it you were going to do i thought you were going to do like put it underneath or something like that but it's you know it does help it mm -hmm. right if you notice mm -hmm. but it just takes away from that blend effect yeah you know mm -hmm. but it was, it was good. Thanks to do. Thanks, good. thanks for uh, the suggestion. It was good trying. <laughs> that is easier to see the twins. Uh, <laughs> Paul says, sorry, not a fan, but it is easier to see the twins. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they are not as washed out. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So, uh, Michael, hello. And Marcus has a question. Yeah. And then it's like, yeah, I agree with Franny Cajun, like feathering. Mm-hmm. Because you could still see the edges, mm -hmm. right? So, mm -hmm. but it's just a, an idea to get the inspiration flowing. Yeah, to do cool stuff like that, but not appropriate to do it on the twins. <laughs> 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 not appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> um, Michael Hill. Yes, and also uh, Marcus. And he said Kimberly too. I could mm -hmm. add a second thumbnail of Ken and Glenn to fit into. Yeah, and we we saw mm -hmm. we saw what that did. Marcus is on top of Michael, I believe. Yeah, above. Feature request, Marcus. That'll be a beautiful feature request right there, right? To have the comment just showing up in all scenes mm -hmm. as opposed to showing current scene. I mean... With a, with a switch, of course. Yeah. Or to pick which one you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that'd be cool. That'll be yeah. an amazing feature. And then we have. Uh, I think it's a Kimberly. Wait, so Paul, uh, Paul Duncan, uh, which one are you not a fan of? The double one or the whole concept? Mm. Um, it's some favorites. Okay. Did you create the background in the last episode? Yeah. The last episode of Building Blocks. Mm -hmm. Which background? You created all the background, so it doesn't even matter. Which background, Kimberly? <laughs> I mean, like, he, he, he which, went crazy creating backgrounds, so it's like, yes. Which, which background? The background on, you know. on, e, on ENN, on ENN, we didn't have a background, but on building blocks. That's, okay. Michelle Lawrence. Just create some gifts from my community posts. I can easily change them to MOV files with transparent backgrounds for my Amazon videos. I like the concept. Yep. Just make sure you time it and it, sh it should work very beautifully for mm -hmm. you. For us, remote producers and solo producers, automated scenes are our assistant. Oh, um, these comments from uh, Michael. People, how great it is. I will be your ambassador in my country. 
And I'll make videos about Ecamm and tell people how great it is. Aww. Nice. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, the one you have, it's too washed out. The, the current one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It washes, it washes out the... Yeah. So, we would have to, like, this whole concept. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. just, we just bring, we just uh, leave it the way it was. We don't do blends. Right. So, this one will just be normal. Like, so... Or, and then the or it would just normal. be scratched the whole idea. Mm -hmm. For like this type of thumbnail wouldn't work. But if we throw an image, we see how dope it will look. Right. Yeah. With another image. Mm -hmm. Right. Just not Ken and Glenn. <laughs> 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 just not Ken and Glenn. <laughs> so um, so David is making a suggestion, which is like I was gonna say that, but uh, if if we if we lock, let's, let me bring it up. Oh. Yeah. Where we at? Right here. If your scenes are locked, the comments show are no scenes. So you have to lock all your scenes. Lock two scenes, he Meaning, says. Uh, let's let's lock the let's lock these scenes, right? And uh coming up next. And let's play in here. And now bring a comment in. Let's see. Bring Dave's comment. <laughs> Test it out. Oh. Test it out. Oh. It, it's, it, it's, it's, wor working. it's working, but it's for some reason it remembered the scrolling ticker <laughs> in the scene. Uh, let's change that to. All right. That's cool that it lets you edit it while the, the, the scenes are rotating. There you go. <laughs> it's like a fireball. All right, so there you have it. Lock the scenes. Lock the scenes. Let's bring some. Of this, let's bring another comment. Thank you, David. Oh, that's interesting, uh, right? Why is it doing that? Mm-hmm. Again, we did not break it. <laughs> Yeah, it's going it back. back to it went back ticker. to scrolling ticker. And is it because we're in uh, this uh, automated scene that's doing that? Although it shouldn't be the reason why. All right. So if we come back, let's say we go back to uh, <laughs> let's just go back to comments and see. Let's go back to comments. It just wants to scroll. Let's try something. Let's try to fix this brokenness. We go back here. You want you're gonna unlock the scenes or you're what if we unlock? what if we do option command K? Like as if we're just tricking it to to uh, be a make a, a placeholder. placeholder, right? We're just tricking you can look at how you see. <laughs> 45 minutes later. I came up with the word already. What is it? Common placeholder. <laughs> All right, so right here it is. Like so, we'll just leave it like this. And let's see. <laughs> it broke on your watch. It went back to scrolling ticker. So it's defaulting to scrolling <laughs> ticker when we lock, after we lock the scenes. But it was defaulting to scrolling ticker. No, it wasn't. It was after we locked the scenes. Yeah. yeah. So let's unlock it and see what's up. It was Dave's fault. <laughs> <laughs> David, it was your fault. It was your fault. It was your fault, David. Okay, your, so then uh, let's, let's bring. An accomplice. PCMA Canada. Hello? Oh, it's Brian. Brian. Hi, Brian. Brian. Oh, my gosh. I'm over here. I will move that. Yes. Welcome to Building Blocks, where we find ways to break. Right? So it went back to, again, even I was trying yeah, to Yeah, that's it. what I'm saying. It, it just, it goes, I don't think it was because the scenes were lost. So it was doing it's it before. doing that inside the automated folder. Inside of the automated And even, even before, let's let's get it out. Let's get out of here. Let's go to comments. And then let's change it. I think it was doing it all let's along. Let's pull it up. See? 
Let's change it. That's and interesting. Get another one. Yeah. It's in it's in those scenes. You know something? Let's see. Let's check something else real quick. Mm. So we know this is fine. But what if we go into, for example, Marshall Creates. This was the first scene that we created, right? And no, look at this. It's working just fine now. Brian's so comment pops what up. Ha- was it? So this is it's not steady, so it's not. Right. So, mm-hmm. so let's pull up uh, Paul over here saying hello to Brian. And then let's hide this. And now let's lock the scenes back, right? Let's see. And then, so without going to automate it, let's see what happens, right? It's working. It's showing in all scenes because the scenes are locked. And then when we start to play automate. Let's try this. Just waiting for it to get to uh, the next one. It's fixed. Was it because did we change the the transition on the on the thumbnail? I mean on the on the comments? Did Mm-mm. we change it? And no, no, it was uh, it was just flying from the bottom, but it's fixed now. We have to duplicate it, like replicate we have to re- it, see, yeah. replicate it, and see what if it's, if it happens again. There it is. <laughs> it's David. Oh, it's David. David it's yes, you. you. Oh my gosh! You pull your comment, David. Listen. Wait. It's, it's David. Oh, David. That's it. <laughs> David, <laughs> David you, you broke you broke the beta. You truly broke the beta. The comments <laughs> crawl away. <from> him. <laughs> and he's like, oh yeah, if you like the scenes in the comments, just like. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> That's it. Oh, snap. Oh, man. Okay, so... David broke the beta. What other funny. ways What other ways do you see yourselves using the automated folders? Uh, what other ways were the things, call to action, what kind of call to actions do you see yourself doing with this? Uh, again, like we have done it with movies, and it works very nice. It works nicely. It just mm-hmm. goes, and you have your time there. For example, if you, your movie is 20 seconds... Just make sure that the rest of the assets that you're gonna have there are engaging as well, so it doesn't just stay there and people get bored with it. Or what you're saying, your message is is um, engaging enough, so it's not gonna be, a, you know, people sometimes get a little yeah. We have a suggestion a impatient. from uh, Marcus to saying to maybe delete the existing comments in the lock scenes. We can try that. You see, you guys are so smart. So Marshall Creates has no no comments there. Ecamm Live Demo is clean. What is that that's coming in? Look at, switch it, please. Hmm? Switch it, please. No, switch to another scene. You see that? Oh, that's a Building Blocks logo flying in. Oh, I see. It's like a little puzzle. Little puzzle coming pieces. to the other side, okay. Yeah, because uh, the logo was at one time on that side, so now it's just traveling, okay. And uh, actually, um, Marcus, there are no uh comments, there are no comments in the showing current scene, so it's all in showing all scenes. So if we pull it up again, well, it's broken now, <laughs> but yeah, I'm telling you, the, scro- the scrolling comments should not be a thing. I, I bet you there's it should not be a thing. I mean, what I know you like it because you. It's cool. But if it's causing this chaos, right. you know. Yeah. So they did it for you. I guess. That's nice. But uh but at least at least the shapes are fixed. Right? Because that we people use. Right. So that's good to know. Yeah. Yeah. It's good that was fixed. Yeah. So that is awesome. So yes, let's see how uh, how will you all use it and while you think about it and write your comments, don't you know? That the inspiration for the automated, not the automated folder, but the... Coming up next. The coming up next was from Lifetime Television, right? We sit down and sometimes we don't, we just, we found a new show 
on Lifetime Television, but sometimes we just sit down and we just look for inspiration or relates or whatever. So I'm like, Fulgence, look at that. I need you to create blah, 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 blah. And then I'm like, check it out. And then you created, what was it? You created something, it was something else. Well, I don't remember what it was. The, when, when creating it coming up next? Yeah, it was something else. And then we sat down and we're like, <laughs> let's watch yeah. it. So we had to watch almost a whole episode to yeah. see this. It was a different design. So uh, like for example, Marshall's thumbnail has no background behind it and it was just text above and below it. So mm -hmm. it will say new episode right, above the thumbnail yeah. and then below the thumbnail, it will say Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as opposed to having it as a one graphic right lower third yeah yeah so this one is is beautiful so anyway you know some people say oh my gosh lifetime television is trash we, <laughs> we found that inspiration there and it's lovely we're gonna continue using it um yeah so we have so okay let's see hello Malang tv hola hola good to see you here new nick nickname for you is tasmanian devil of beta <laughs> <laughs> gonna be the Tasmanian. I have a shirt that say it wasn't me I swear with the beta logo on it. <laughs> but you know what we're gonna do actually we, we really have to um so all of a sudden there are tons of bees outside of the door and we don't see a bee nest. So I'm like Fulgens I found a bee in the kitchen and then I'm like go oh, check it out because the bees usually come around this time <laughs> and Fulgens went out and what happened? They're behind the brick wall, and it's really hard to get to. Yeah. So There's a hole in the brick wall, like, about this big, and I believe that they made like it. Like, behind the brick wall, inside the vinyl siding or something, but they're, they're in there. They're in there. They're in there. So, Fulgens goes to Home Depot and gets two cans of... The Wasp and Hornet Spray, whatever, whatever. Is that what... So, that's the name of the beast. Is this the right? It's for a wash and for that yellow okay. jackets. Mm -hmm. So, and he goes outside and he was not feeling it. <laughs> he was yeah. not feeling it. You have to shoot. It says it shoots from 27 feet. So <laughs> I took advantage of that, <laughs> of that distance. He was out. And I'm safe in the, inside the house videotaping his adventures. And he's just like shooting, shooting. And I'm like, you have to get closer to get Which to I that. did. And he did. He got closer, but they were they were crazy. Killed right? a lot they of bees, were... but there's still a lot of activity going on. Now so. what happened is that the bees are coming inside the house. Not a lot of bees, but we have found in a concentrated area, which is the kitchen for some reason, because it's far away. The window is far away from the kitchen. So my son's bedroom is right up. So the the. What is it? The the infestation is in the corner of my studio and then above my son's bedroom. So a bee was in my son's bed. And then it was in the kitchen. We found four bees in the kitchen. So now tonight, Fulgence is going to... The, they're sleeping right now? And tomorrow we're going to call somebody to come in and take care of it because... If it doesn't e work, Even though, said. even if we douse that whole... The, the hive is just so deep and you can't even reach it. So somebody has to come and do it. So we're going to yeah. call somebody tomorrow morning. And yes, exactly. We're getting so do you pro. have to spray today? Yeah, I'm still going to spray. This is the right time to spray now. But if, if we're going to hire somebody tomorrow, why would you spray? I'm going to pump that spray until they kill as many as we can so we could sleep nice tonight. What if they continue to come in? That's why I should spray tonight. What do you all think? What do you all think? There's nothing else we can do. But yeah, spray. the bees will eat the insulation. And that's where they're going. They're going to the attic. <laughs> we checked. We checked. <laughs> there, was checked. No, there was no activity up there. So they're just behind the brick wall somewhere, just guarding guarding the queen. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna go. Um, <laughs> let's see the video. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I have the video, but he is running away. I was, so. I was spraying and running. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Michelle's like, they coming for your peach emoji. Yeah, exactly. They're coming for my peach emoji. I, got, like, I, I keep feeling like it's a little bite here. I'm wondering if I got, if I got, 
hit. No, <laughs> Fulgis went so we far need, away from the, the far away from the <laughs> from the area that and he kept running, he kept running. <laughs> that at night, all of a sudden, he was stuffy. And you were coughing and all of that <laughs> from it, I think, right? I was stuffy, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that was from that. Your flowers and veggies will never get pollinated. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. You see, so that's the thing. Like, when, because this happened a couple of years ago in 2021. And so I called the beekeeper and they did it in an environmentally friendly way. Way. He put a whole hose in the side of that hole. So that was not. He fumigated it. Yeah. He put a huge hole. Inside the, and he just went all across the house. And that's my my issue. The spray, it sprays far. And, you know, so I either I have to get up close to the hole at night when the guards are resting and just like spray as much as I can in there and just like probably step away or find a way like to siphon the spray in there. But I can't, I don't have a siphoning mechanism for that. And there are these pole extenders that you can use. But that is Amazon only. Home <laughs> Depot doesn't have it, and it's gonna arrive at by the weekend. So by then, yeah. But if we're gonna hire somebody, done. and so that's, that's why somebody will come in. That's um, one thing, Johnny. That that Fulgen said. Oh yeah, he's gonna spray and, and uh, cover the hole. But I don't think that's a good idea because we don't know what's behind there. What if because the bees are coming in? Right. So and then what we if, won't be able to remove the the nest. That's the issue. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> bees goes after you because you guys are so sweet. That's, yeah. that's the mosquitoes. They come after me like that. Yeah, Fulgen's mosquitoes. They come after me yeah. like that. That's why I created camp. It's October. Oh, my gosh. If, if we're outside, I th- hopefully all the mosquitoes and the bees will just be... Oh my gosh, Queen Bee laid 3,000 oh eggs. Oh my gosh. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. What? You mm-hmm. get one of those. Just... Listen. Yeah, I, I I believe so, David. That's that's what I'm gonna do. Is just gonna just run and gun, get up as close to the hole as possible Go and on just the shoot in there. Ladder. Yeah, the thing is, like the ladder I had the ladder, but there's like a big bush in the way. No, the tiny one. Oh yeah, the tiny yeah, step the ladder. Tiny this step way I could ladder. jump off yeah, and run. Exactly. <laughs> to jump and off was, and run. I'm gonna put in my hoodie. I'm gonna like just put on uh, shades and gloves. And hopefully they don't go underneath the glasses. I'm going to have my goggles on. I'll have the video for you all. I'll be filming <laughs> from safety. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Suit up. Suit I know. Up. So wish, wish us luck. So anyway, we're going to call somebody tomorrow, even if you do that, just to make sure. Yeah. Especially if we see more bees. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I cooked today, though, even though there were bees there. So that was good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, everybody. So there you have it. Looking Automated scenes. Looking forward to creator camp. Yes. Ooh. Oh, nice. We are too. We are too. That's going to be awesome. A, a bee free and mosquito, <laughs> mosquito free creative camp. Maybe it could right? be. Right? Camp without the insects. What's a camp without insects? <laughs> camp- insect free camp. That would be great. Anyway, I'll be there taking all your headshots and just make sure you read that, that that email that was sent to you about how to get ready for your headshots. That is so important. Read the page on the night before, okay? That's going to be a little hard for we all because we're going to be partying the night before. But if you want to look good in your headshot, make sure that you follow the night before instructions and guidance that I put in there so that you can look awesome, okay? Is that, Both. The, is that the what to wear guide? Yes. And the what to wear guide that we sent over. And just and just come awesome. Come prepare. Bring bring your your clothes. Bring your layers. If you're gonna if you're gonna have your headshot taken, bring um a jacket for the guys and you can take the jacket off so we can do some like real quick changes and you can end up with some amazing headshots that you'll be able to use throughout your content so yes that is for creator camp everyone <laughs> i am i'm about to do something because yeah, it's 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 cool enough now it's um 62 degrees <laughs> it's 62 degrees so i can get away with hoodie and sweatpants and all that stuff in yes let's go attack attack me we're going to do this. You guys are going to make Mr. Green Screen jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, my phone has batteries 
for try for recording you so we can go oh my gosh yeah stay tuned for that video <laughs> stay tuned for the video <laughs> you're gonna be okay you're gonna be okay you're gonna be good oh, all right everybody thank you so much for being here with us keeping us company and learning some awesome stuff and how ecamm can just make our lives so much easier and make our content easier to deliver by all these great features that they are providing for us thank you so much my name is anna he and i'm folding center and we will see you next monday at Peace. 7 p.m eastern center time bye oh wait are we doing fixed or traditional whatever automated <laughs> <laughs> no we're not <laughs> let's do fixed